react with giggles. Oh, Danny, how you feel? I feel great. Hello, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, it's Gabby. And today we are going to talk about how you get a job at Champs. Oh, if you did not know, today, April 27th, I got the job at Champs. Uh, I got the job as a sales associate and the pay is $10 an hour and employee discount. Yeah, a 30% off employee discount. So, First things first, you gotta apply to the job. Boom. Go to Foot Locker, careers.footlocker, I think, dot com. I hope I put the link up here. Yeah. And you go in there and you go to whatever uh, Foot Locker you're trying to apply to or Champs you're trying to apply to. And you have to make an account. And then you log into your account. Then you apply and then you put all your information in. It may ask for a resume. If you don't have a resume, put volunteer hours. I've seen that a lot of people get the job with putting volunteering hours. And then you put all your information in. They're gonna ask for your availability. Make sure you are kinda, you know, sex on what your availability is because that's what they're gonna ask you in your interview. And sometimes if it's gonna change, then you know, they're big on communication, make sure you let them know at the interview. But once you do that, then you're gonna press submit. Boom, you submit your application. Okay, now wait a day and call. Call them because shoe stores for some reason just cannot get back to you unless you call them, okay? I got lucky enough that folks was quitting that job for some reason and i think it goes with all shoe stores so i would recommend if you're trying to apply to a shoe store apply during like the transition no periods and what i mean by that is like school is finna end so like april through may people are either leaving to go to back home or they're leaving to go to school they're leaving because of summer it's a lot a lot of stuff going on so that's a transitional period same thing if you're trying to you know, get a job in July to August. Apply during those times too. Cause folks still gonna be leaving cause transitional period. Like me, I'm leaving at like the beginning of August because I gotta go to school. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people may try to focus on their studies. So I'm putting y'all on apply during the transitional periods cause I got my job during the transitional period. And yeah, it was real easy cause folks was leaving. Next you just want to let them know on the phone call well just say hey well if i can get a update on my application they're gonna be like boom um yeah and then they're probably gonna either search it up or they're gonna let you know um that they're, they're gonna give you a call back about your application and if they don't in a two-day period call them again and do it like i would say do it like every two to three days i got lucky enough since people like i said were leaving that they were like, oh, we're actually setting up interviews today around two. They called me around two something and they let me know what my interview time was. Like I was called on Tuesday, about like around like 2.30 and he let me know that I can have my interview on Thursday at 1.30, hence Thursday, April 27th. After you do all that, hopefully you got a call saying that, oh, you can you know you, your interview um, is on this day at this time let them know if you can't come on that day they're gonna understand or at that time they're gonna vary you know they're gonna help you choose a time for that communication is key communication is key okay after you get you know get the interview you go to your interview um i stayed you know safe i was watching a lot of videos on how i should dress but business casual had my sweater on had my khakis on with my where them shoes at well just anything flats okay flats i don't know where them shoes went and you just want to stay appropriate even though this is a shoe store it's an interview still you still gotta look professional okay next you're at the interview now what i can say every interview is different because that was my second interview at champs my first one i didn't get the job but i think it's because of availability and it was already a lot of people working there too but i was asked different questions because of the interviewer okay so i'm gonna be honest just be yourself at the interview and if that job for you then that job is for you um they're just very big on customer service and that you can really provide a good experience for the customers that's coming into champ and communication with 
the team members, especially the manager, because never know, schedule. Hey, they just, they're looking for the audit, okay? They're just really looking for people that's good. Good working people, passive people. What should I expect from her? about the offer she let me know at the interview that i got the job so i mean hey but she was basically when you if you get an offer for the job you're gonna get an email i'm gonna put the email up here boom you're supposed to get an email that you know make sure you accept i accept i got lucky you know what I'm, saying? I'm blessed forget lucky i'm blessed okay i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i put y'all on to how to get a job at chance and ask me any questions down below i know a lot of people don't you know very will be very detailed about just getting a job in general